Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is currently Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Okay, good. Larry and I are actually going to run out the door. I wasn't going to film today, and then we're going to be doing an exciting thing. So we have to go to the post office, which is kind of boring. But then after that, we're going to check out Hobby Lobby because we're already, well, one of us is already thinking about Christmas. So we want to look at a Christmas tree and then check out what fall stuff they have. <laughs> and then their stuff is 40% off for their fall goodies. So we're going to go there. And then Larry wants to go to the thrift store, which I'm not complaining because I love the thrift store too. And where else are we going? Post office, oh, Hobby Lobby, Target. thrift store, maybe Target. Maybe Target. So we're just going to be roaming around a lot today. So it is super hot. Kitty, did you hear that? I did hear it's that. It's like an explosion. I think they're loading their lawnmowers Hi, in the trailer. Hi, baby. So the kitties are going to have a nice nap while we're gone. Lexi's in the bedroom already taking her nap. And it's so toasty in Florida this week. I mean, Ooh, it's, it's hot. It's <laughs> summer in Florida. Ooh. It's always toasty, but it's like 93 with 90% humidity, which, I mean, is that different from any other summer day in Florida? Probably not. So, but yeah, I am getting dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit. So this crop top I got at Target quite a while ago. I wish I would have gotten a large. This is a medium and it's just kind of like a little tight. <laughs> um, and then these joggers, they're high waisted and they're like elastic up here. And they're, um, what is that? Like cinched in. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them. And I got them at the thrift store like a week ago. These were $3. I think they're almost brand new. I don't think anybody ever wore them, so... Yeah, very excited about that. And then I'm just gonna pop on my shoes and I have my mask, which I just dropped on the floor. But a lot of you guys asked me where I got the plain black mask and the answer is Universal Studios when we went. So that's where it's from. All right, let's get in the car. Holy crap. Say that every time I get in the car. Oh. Hey, baby. Hi. Let's pop on. Currently switched over to my Pandora. It's the um, Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban. So there's music from the Nightmare Before Christmas on there. And I've gone to Halloweenies. <laughs> oh, wait. By the time they see this, it'll officially be August. Ooh. That's basically fall. No. No. Well, I mean, holy hot! Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. Not fall? No. Well, I want to decorate for mom's decorating this weekend. This Saturday, she wants to decorate. I'll wait at least till mid to end August. How does that sound? Is that fair? The, the 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 quicker you put it up the longer you get to enjoy it the the the, the... <laughs> yeah but the problem is the day after halloween we'll take it down and we'll have a christmas tree up no no i can't do that because we do vlogmas and it's important to decorate vlogmas christmas tree so i'll have to wait okay we are officially at step number one which is hobby lobby and I'm going to try and be very good in here. It's going to be a very hard task, but you can do it. I'm looking at Christmas trees and maybe I'll, I'll let myself have one fall item. Only one. That's new. I don't know. Oh, I think it changes the, it changes the, yeah. All right, let's go into Hobby Lobby. Christmas trees are out. 
Thanks. <gasps> it's happening. OMG. OMG. Oh my OMG. Oh. oh. Babe, it's happening. The magic is happening. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have the tree that we are looking for. We're looking for one that has the option to either stay like white lights or you can switch it to colored lights and they don't have that. They either have all white or all colored. So we're still looking. Oh, I found this. It's really cute. Absolutely love this retro Christmas tree. guys so it is actually currently next day I kind of slacked on filming yesterday the last thing I think you guys saw was Hobby Lobby and then I just I didn't film anything else and Larry and I went to Target and we did also go into what's it called what's it called the thrift store um, goodwill to be precise and then I also had an order from Hot Topic arrive and Amazon arrive so I'm going to share quite a few goodies that we picked up including this jacket it is way too hot in Florida to be wearing this even in my house I'm a little toasty in it um, Harry Potter you can probably see in the background on sci-fi it is currently July 31st as you guys are seeing this it's gonna be like August something August I don't know what day August 2nd, 3rd, something around there. Um, but happy birthday, Harry Potter. How did you guys celebrate? Obviously here, it's gonna be a Harry Potter marathon weekend all weekend. But let me show you guys this coat. So it is from Amazon and it is the classic teddy bear coat, but at a really affordable price. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. I'll link everything down below that I got. Okay, so here is the teddy bear coat. It has massive pockets, the zipper, is silver I think it would have been better if it was gold but it's silver it's fine and I did have a bit of a time unzipping it because it came zipped and I think it's just one of those coats that I'm not ever going to zip because the zipper is a little stiff uh, but yeah this is the teddy bear coat here's what it looks like and I love it and I'm obsessed and I'll be wearing it in the winter every day here it's gonna be my winter coat it's by the brand oh, and the softness guys the plush the plush is all the way through not just like on the outside this is the inside this is the outside so it's the whole thing and this is by the brand pretty garden cute all right let's stick with amazon did i get anything else oh i did what you guys saw this morning as i was making my coffee i made it in these glass coffee cups um, I'm gonna be using them for tea though. I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger than they are and they're not and it will not fit like a full size of my coffee. Of course I could do it smaller, like make a smaller sized cup of coffee but then that's wasting the, the pod, the K-cup. So um, I'm just gonna use these for tea and they came in a box of six. If you guys are interested, again, I'll link them down below. They were made in Spain so I thought that was cool. I think that's everything I got from Amazon. Um, let's jump to Hot Topic. Oh, that TV is really distracting, wasn't it, just now? That's a commercial. <laughs> Let me turn you guys this way. Um, so, from Hot Topic, which only a partial of my order arrived. I don't really understand that, but that is what happened. So, I'll show you guys the rest of what I got, which is super cool. And the hoodies are like, well, that gives away what I got. I got a few sweatshirts. Those are what didn't arrive. And they're very retro-y and so darn cute. And I cannot wait to share them with you guys. But the ones that I do have here are t-shirts. The first, I messed up. So, I thought it was so freaking cute. 
here it is. It's tie-dye, The Nightmare Before Christmas, we have Jack and Sally. But I didn't understand the sizing. It said one slash two or three slash four. And what happened was, is I bought um, a plus size three, four. So I got an extra, extra, extra to an extra, 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 extra large. So it does not fit me, but I'm actually gonna gift it to my dad because I think he'll love it. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I could just wear it as a sweater dress, but it still is just not going to work out on me, I do not think. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna order another one. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty though, the detail. Oh my gosh, look at the tie-dye. It's just so cute. So that's the first thing I ordered. And then, oh, that's Target. Um, so here we go. I ordered two of the same exact shirt. Don't even judge me. <laughs> All right, because it came in different sizes. So it came in small slash medium, which obviously is looking big. And I got it to wear it as a t-shirt dress, but I thought small medium was small medium. I don't understand what's happening with the sizes in this round. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but here is the small medium. My intentions with this is to wear like a creamy biker short underneath of it and then wear it as like a t-shirt dress. And then I also got it in the large, extra large. These must be t-shirt dresses because I thought small, medium, like regular, like wear it with regular jeans. And then this one I got for the t-shirt dress purpose. I'm gonna have to gift this one too. So here's the next one. So those are cute, couldn't pass up the tie-dye. And then, <laughs> I ordered myself a little pumpkin face mask because tis the season, pumpkin is here. Look, oh my God, it's so cool. Oh good, it's not super tight either. <gasps> yes, how cool is this? <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so I also ordered that and that's the last thing I ordered from Hot Topic that arrived. Next we have, looks like Target. Um, I'm on a Disney like theme. So here we go. Uh, Disney and then it's like a pastel tie-dye. Very light colored. I went with a bigger size. I got it in an XL just so it's like a really oversized crop top because the one that I have, which you guys see me wear a lot, it's the light blue one with the black velvet Disney written across it, is a size medium and it is, it's snug. It's getting snug on me. So I went with a bigger size. I also got my favorite EOS lip balm. They didn't have the mint, so I got it in warm vanilla milk. And they didn't have regular vanilla. They only had these, so I'm going to give these a try. These are also Target. And then Target RX bars. So I figured when I'm craving something sweet, these are still healthy. If you guys don't know what an RX bar is, it's they have like different flavors, but the ingredients in them are dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, blueberries. Um, contains eggs, almonds, and cashews. You know, they're just simple ingredients. There's no additives, so you know what you're eating. The ingredients are listed right on the packaging. And then I also got the Starbucks pumpkin coffee, which I need to go grab so I can show you, but my camera's dying. Oh, you guys saw it in the vlog this morning. I was putting it all in. So yeah, I got that. Okay, next, we're rummaging to thrift store. I got a bamboo cutting board. This is a small one. I have big ones. I needed a smaller one, one that I can just leave out on the counter. The next item, as an Ohioan, I'm very disappointed in myself, very disappointed in myself. But as a vintage sweatshirt enthusiast, I'm very proud of myself. Look at this, look at this vintage sweatshirt. How cute, it is a Michigan State sweater. But as I said, it's very vintage. These are ones that like you could pay good money for online and I'm just obsessed with it. When I look for sweaters, this is the kind of style that I look for. So I snagged it at the thrift store for $3.98. Next, I got a turtleneck. I'm not sure why, but I did. And it's cream and the neck is kind of all ruffled. So I grabbed that and this was $4.48. I could snazz up like a crew neck sweater, whatever. And then I got this crop top. NASA, super cute, $4.48. And then this one is from New York and Company and it's super soft. It kind of reminds me of the Under Armour material. 
and I'm gonna tuck this into my like distressed ripped black jeans. They're high waisted and just tuck this in. I think that would be really cute with like a black crossbody bag, all about that vibe. And then I got this, which is something that I normally wouldn't get. It's very sheer, but I thought maybe for Christmas it'd be cute with like a black bralette underneath of it. And then the last item is a SpongeBob long sleeve tie dye shirt. And Bruce is a big fan of tie-dye and he's going to be visiting soon so I saw it and I grabbed it for him so yeah that's everything that I picked up oh guys we picked up the vlogmas freaking puzzle for 2020 you guys ready for it here it is this will be vlogmas 2020 puzzle how do you guys you guys like it I thought it was so cute it reminds me of an old town and it's just really pretty and this I got at oh you guys can't even see it I got it at um Hobby Lobby. So I am feeling all of a sudden very hot and sweaty and clammy and extremely nauseous. And I had these spring rolls for lunch and there was smoked salmon in them and I am feeling very ill. It's a very weird wonder that I even made it through this little haul. I'm gonna shut off the camera now because I feel sweaty and sick. <laughs> I will be back to check in in a bit. What the heck? Okay, so I feel a little bit better. I have no idea what happened. I don't know if I overheated or what, but I laid down, I feel better. I didn't sleep or anything because I'm not tired. I just felt weird. I still feel a little nauseous, I'm not sure. But while laying down, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this 30 day challenge squat post. Somebody had posted it. So for 30 days, you do a certain amount of squats. I don't know. I don't know. I'll share it on my Instagram if you guys are interested in following along. So day one is 50 squats. So I am about to do 50 squats. So here we go. Wish me luck. Okay. So my camera died, but I did complete the 50 squats. Holy crap. If you're not used to doing squats and you just go and do 50 squats, you're going to feel it like, ouch. I had to like moderate them to be honest. So the first like 15, I went down completely how you're supposed to. And then I didn't go down as deep for the rest of them, but I still completed them. So day one checked off. If you guys want to join me, head over to my Instagram and follow me because I'm going to make sure that I remind you guys to do your 50 squats or daily squats I should say oh my gosh okay now I need to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner I really don't want much maybe a smoothie babe are you hungry not really no because it's about dinner time so I don't know and then we need to watch a movie there's Harry Potter going on but they're currently on the Prisoner of Azkaban, which, do I have something up? No. Um, the Prisoner of Azkaban, which we just watched last night. So we might watch Hamilton. Um, a lot of you guys have been recommending us to watch Hamilton. So I think we'll pop that on. And I'm just going to make a smoothie. Or maybe I'll try to make like a smoothie bowl, like an acai bowl or something like that. Hmm. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So oddly, I'm craving like soup and I'm craving a smoothie bowl, but I think I'm going to do the smoothie bowl. Maybe I'll have soup and a smoothie bowl. I don't know. That's so weird. Like one extreme to the other. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I think I just looked up a quick few recipes or a few recipes really quick. So I'm going to pick out some frozen berries that I have and then do a frozen banana and add like a tiny bit of unsweetened almond milk and use that as my base. And we're going to blend it and hope for a thick consistency. So let's give that a try. Doing that too now, what are you doing? Oh, where's my frozen fruit? Oh, my legs. <laughs> So this would be the perfect mix. So in here there's blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So my thighs are literally shaking. 
So many of you guys are DMing me on Instagram telling me that you've joined the challenge. So I'm very happy you're doing it. All right, let's, um, okay, I think that's all I'm going to put in there. I'm not going to do a lot. Maybe I should do a little bit more. Maybe just a smidge more. Those are like all strawberries. All the blueberries and blackberries are at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't add that much because I'm adding a frozen banana. Guys. Silly me. Okay, I'll do that much. All right, and then I freeze my bananas and I put them in little baggies. I'm only gonna do half of the banana. Save the other half. Then a smidge of the almond milk. I guess not a lot because we don't want it to be like a smoothie consistency. We want it to be quite thick. It's gonna be intense, isn't it? It's gonna be really loud. Poor cats. Luna, prepare yourself. Lexi, wherever you are, prepare yourself. All right. Okay. I think, I think we need more liquid. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> it's all stuck at the top. Okay, we need to add a little bit more. liquid. Pop that back on. This is an experiment. I've never made one. Basically like acai bowl without the acai. Am I using the wrong kind of like, come on Nutribullet. Am I still not? isn't going well. Maybe there's still too much frozen? A little bit more milk. I don't think either cat could have cared us if you turned that on. Good. doesn't it? It's like, oh, that consistency looks good. That is what the consistency is looking like. So let's, um, oh, mmm, we did it. Okay. Need a bowl. Okay, got our little bowl. <clears throat> now we're just gonna scoop it out and then we can put our toppings on it. Oh my gosh, this is basically gonna be like healthy ice cream. I'm gonna have to tell my mother about this. Oh, guys, it's, 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 look at this texture. <laughs> Look at that creamy, smooth texture. Oh my. Right, now we need to grab some toppings. So I do have coconut flakes, unsweetened coconut flakes. We have some of these. I also have the seeds. I'm gonna call them the seeds because I always call them the wrong thing. And then, what should we top it with? Oh, strawberries, fresh strawberries. All right. I'll be back once my bowl is decorated or maybe I'll just decorate it with you guys. You probably wanna see it. All right, so I'll pop you here. You guys cannot see it right now. All right. So, organic coconut flakes. I've never had unsweetened coconut. Good. Okay. Probably shouldn't use that hand. I just ate off that hand. So I'll just 
sprinkle. I don't know how people make these like all perfect, but we're gonna try. When eating healthy becomes art. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. Tablespoon of the seeds. A little less than that, pouring some back. And now we need to slice some strawberry. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> when you're working on art and your berry just plops into the bowl. There is my beautiful bowl. And now I'm gonna eat it. What's he doing sitting there? Like that. You look so funny. Super cute. Hey. Hi. So I think I'm gonna end this here. I wanna wash my face and chill. <laughs> what do you um, want to watch for a movie? I don't know, we'll find something. We'll find something. I don't know what we're watching, guys. Maybe Hamilton, maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll I see. don't know. I'll let you guys know in the next vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.